find the whole thing of people getting fascinated with talent shows just... Do you not find that depressing? That's well, what our grandparents used to watch. I know, we were you like... know, I quite watch some of them. I don't watch them anymore so much, but I did watch them when they first started with the, with the X Factor and all that. I quite liked it. But now I do feel like it, it's, it is like people are just laughing at people they shouldn't be laughing at in the early <laughs> stages. You know? Oh, that's the bit you like, I <laughs> see. <laughs> The idea of people being judged by Amanda Holden? Mm. <laughs> a woman with a face like haunted Tupperware? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, can, well, you watch, I'm, can, I'm you watch, can you watch Andrew Lloyd Webber? He looks like he's had his face carved off by a diseased butcher, <laughs> put in a piñata, beaten with hockey sticks for six hours, and then the resulting slop piped back onto his head <laughs> like the icing on the ugliest cake the world has ever seen. Oh. Are you on his Christmas card list? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love Andrew Lloyd Webber, though. I find him charming and I think he's sweet on TV because he's, uh, he's, he's not putting himself forward as uh, a heartthrob. He would, be, he would be charming in a fairy story, <laughs> as someone trying to steal a baby <laughs> from a princess. <laughs> On reality? This is reality? That's horror? <laughs>